Luke Combs does to me on B105, the Northland's number one for new country. And uh, Ken and Lauren with you on Friday. How are you, how are you doing on Friday? How are, how are you doing on this Friday? I love Fridays. Have you seen this thing going around? What? So stupid. People go, this Halloween will be the first Friday the 13th in 666 years. And it's not. I'm like, it can't be on Friday the 13th because Halloween's always, Halloween's always on the 31st. Yeah, so... Oh, what, are, what, are, what are people doing? Oh, wait, I'm embarrassed. What, you okay, didn't think cause, of that? No, because I saw one of those posts, and I went and looked at Halloween was on the, on the 13th. I'm such an idiot. But it's kind of like how Christmas is always on the 25th. You know? Oh, my gosh. But there is another Friday the 13th in December. I am an idiot because I actually <laughs> saw one of those, and I went and wait I Wait a minute. <laughs> And then I'm like, it's not on a Friday. And then yeah, I'm like, it's, oh. It's always on the 31st, I not need, the 13th. I need to yeah. just sleep for like 48 hours. Yeah, you're fine. B105, Northland's number one for New Country. What a beautiful song. Start you off on this Friday, September 20th. And we got the B105 Buzz brought to you by East Central Energy. Member owned, homegrown, community focused since 1936. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to start today, if you don't mind. How do you like them apples? Do you have any apples at your house? Yeah. Like an apple tree? Oh, no, but I bought apples oh. at the grocery store. No, I need an apple tree. Because they're... So, so Wild State Society is doing this thing where they're accepting apple donations and they want a bunch of apples. And then they're going to make this big batch for Duluth 2024 people's apples. What? And it's going to be... It's going to be... No, it's going to be all apples from, like, this area. And you donate the apples, they make the cider, and then you get a crawler when it's all done. <laughs> Excuse me, um... Choking on an apple over there. <laughs> I, I breathed in too quick. Um... So they're not doing like apple beer or anything? It's just apples? It's apple cider. Hard apple cider. Hard apple cider. I thought you didn't say cider. You just said apple. I said Wild State Cider is doing apple. Well, then I thought, okay, yes, I know Wild State Cider produces cider. Yeah, they're making a cider out of all the apples. That would make more sense. I'm like, why would we want to try apples from different parts of Duluth? No, I'm sorry. They're making a cider out of the batch and then you can get, and then you can buy that. I used to love apple cider, but now I feel like it doesn't love me. Hard cider or apple cider? Apple cider. Okay, because we're talking about hard cider. Yeah, but what I was going to okay. say was regular cider, sadly, also doesn't like me. Can you, can you drink hard cider? I try. Oh, well. That's cool, though. That's a very local. There you go. Check it out. I don't have any apples to give them. They said they'll take crab apples, too. That's interesting. Can you just go buy apples and bring them? I don't think that's what they want. I think oh. they want it to be more like from our soil and our plants and our trees. That's cool. Here. That's Not from really the soil, cool. but from like the Duluth ecosystem. You yeah. Know? Well, that's fun. Anyway. Cool. Um, well, I've said news. A superior business is closing next month. Have you ever been here, Ken? Because it's in your neck of the woods. Tower Fit? Nope. I guess that's probably why they're closing. I mean, I guess I've never, I didn't ever go there. I don't think it's your fault. But, Probably not. Um, their last day in business will be Saturday, October 5th. They um, are going to have a big goodbye party that day. And um, basically the owner just said, you know, we've been through a lot, a pandemic. And that impacted a lot of businesses. She does have a second protein shake shop as well called Belknap Nutrition. So you can check that out. So you don't, you know, you're not going to be without your shakes and all that. But I just thought that was sad because it's been in business for like eight years, so. Yeah, that's too bad. And then I think, um, I think there's a smoke shop going on up over there, too. Another one. I mean, it's like becoming, Tower Avenue is becoming like Vape Avenue. Mm-hmm. There's it, a lot of that. It's a lot, so mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, there you go. That's your B105 Buzz. Thank you, Lauren. We got a little bit of everything in there for you. We did. Yeah, and uh, more coming. B105, Northland's number one for new country and Lauren's country lowdown. Okay, lots of new music today. Keith Urban, he has a new album out called Hi. He'll be on Taste of Country Nights tonight talking about it. Um, but, you know, he's been doing really good press for this new album because remember when he announced it, it might have been the same day. He was like, hey, I'm coming to Minnesota on Sunday. It yeah, was right. a Friday. And he's popped up a few other places as well. So yeah, it's fun. I feel like a new album is very overdue. So very excited about that. Kelsey Ballerini, she has a new song out today called Two Things Can Be True. She also has a music video for that dropping later on today. It's off of her new album, which comes out next month. She also just revealed she is a guest star on a new show called Dr. Odyssey. And I saw um, her walking the red carpet yesterday with her boyfriend, Chase Stokes, for like the big premiere. And I loved it because she had a a purse that was a fishbowl with a goldfish in it. (laughs) She likes a good theme, just like I do. 
So where do they have these premiere for these TV shows? Like, is that a theater or something? Yeah, probably. Well, she's in L.A. right now for The Voice, so. It's interesting that they have, I didn't know they had premieres for these. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be a really big show, so. We will see. You can see that trailer, B105Country.com. And then Justin Moore has a new song out today called Love Your Hometown. So, lots to listen to. Um, Dan and Shay, you remember back in the day, it was, it was a long time ago now, like a long time, Tequila, their huge mm-hmm. song that kind of like propelled them to, you know, superstardom. Yeah. Well, apparently that song helped save Jelly Roll and Bunny XO's marriage. So Bunny just did a TikTok. She shared a video of a concert that Jelly Roll did with Dan and Shay. Um, and when they sang Tequila, Jelly Roll walked off the stage and went and found his wife and they hugged and everything. But I guess like Back in, I don't know, 2018 maybe, they almost broke up for good and separated. And that song um, was like their reunion song when they decided to stick it out and make things work. So I didn't know they had problems like that. I didn't know either. They got married in 2016. She said they didn't really commit to each other 100% when they got married. So you can read more of the backstory. Mm. Um, But that's their song. That's crazy. So she is always open. And you can read more about that, B105Country.com. And while you're there, you can see this. And this is this is when I love the internet. Fans are freaking out because Morgan Wallen wore a cowboy hat to perform. You know? I guess he doesn't really normally ever wear that, does and, he? No, and like fans love it. Like the comments, people are thirsty for it. They're like, Morgan should wear this more. Um, and the comments, yeah, are just hilarious. It was a gala that was in New York City. So... People love it, and now it's gone viral, and everybody is talking. Now about there's a cowboy. Morgan Wallen cowboy AI generator. I like him in the cowboy hat. I think it's handsome. Yeah, it looks good. I wonder how it's going to look with an orange jumpsuit. Oh, oh. Hi, I went there. I gotta be. I gotta be nicer to Morgan. I've been told, so I gotta just. No, I'm that. kidding. But I really, you know, we were just talking about that earlier this week that he might actually serve time. I can't believe that. I don't know if I believe it either. We'll yeah, see what happens we'll see with what that. Happens, but in the uh, meantime, you can, I don't want to say much. thirst over him in the cowboy hat, but <laughs> you could. Somebody suggested the other day that I get uh, I get cowboy boots. I don't have a pair of cowboy you boots. Should. Yeah, That just is wrong. Yeah, well, They have cowboy boot Crocs. Now that is just wrong right there. Yeah, what's I don't the know. point of having a cowboy boot Croc? I don't know? think we look into the logistics. I think okay. you just get the it. practicality it, of it all. Yeah. Right. B105, Northland's number one for new country. Are we at soup season yet? I mean, when yeah, is it, um, when, when does the extended forecast look like? Because I'm, I'm starting to, I'm running out of things to eat that are summer themed. You know what I mean? Because you don't have like a big warm meal. You right. Know? I'm trying to see like how long, because like, I mean, it's like soup chili season, is it not? I don't know. I'm going into soup mode. I, you know, I eat soup year round because I also run out of things to eat. So I hyper fixate on like two things and I just eat those. Well, today's 76, sunny and breezy. That's not soup weather. Tomorrow, 76. That's not soup weather. No. Sunday, 64, rainy, soup weather. Yeah. Sunday is when we turn to, into soup season. Yeah. Prepare for soup mode. Not a minute before. Right. No. No. You can't Do screw you. it up. Yeah. Right. Vegetable beef, I think, will be the first I make. That sounds delicious. Maybe, a, maybe the copycat Zupa Toscana from all That's a very popular that. That's a very good so one. So popular. Get excited for soup season. Mm-hmm. I got to get my blood pressure medicine refilled for that because of all the sodium. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I ran out. I don't know why. Just, well, if you have to, I don't think you should be eating something that you have to go get medication refilled. I just feel like we just. I'm just kidding. It's not for that. It's for a different thing I have going on. I'm okay. okay. I'm all, all right. right. Let's, I'm okay. okay. I don't know what to say to that. Low sodium broth. Here we come. Soup season. Uh, all right. Uh, 710 Laugh Off coming up on B105. B105 Breakfast Club, get a horn. We have the 710 Laugh Off. Mm-hmm. Okay. You won yesterday. You actually already won the week. Yeah. It's all right. I'm still coming in strong. I'm going to start. Okay. Lauren, my wife hates when I cluck like a chicken. She said I'm using too much foul language. That was good. I appreciate that. Good chicken joke. Ken, what is a foot's favorite snack? Doritos. You know what's funny is I'm a part of the... Okay, <laughs> It's what? the dumbest thing ever. 
There's this Facebook group that's like for Cool Ranch Doritos. Mm -hmm. You're in the (laughs) Facebook group for Cool Ranch Doritos. And they post pictures of like the epic Cool Ranch Doritos. I get that actually, yeah. I do. (laughs) Somebody invited me. And I was like, whatever. I think it was Jeremy invited me. Anyway, Mm -hmm. love it. Lauren, my wife left me because I'm insecure. Oh, no, wait, she's back. She just went to get coffee. I almost laughed, but I'm not going to. Got a lot of my wife jokes today. Yeah, I hope your wife's listening. Let's see here. Well, I think you would laugh at that, so I got to save that. Sorry, I I got a lot of jokes yesterday. Okay. Okay. Ken, I've been trying to come up with a new joke about pizza. I just can't figure out the delivery. So wait a minute, you're not giving me your good jokes today because you're saving them for next week? That's what's going on here? Did you think that wasn't a good joke? No. That was okay. Interesting. That was okay. Lauren, my wife's leaving me because she thinks I'm obsessed with astronomy. I mean, what, what planet is she on? Those are actually good. I you should have saved you. those. Why? I, I, you know, I we, know. Have a, we have to entertain. Well, I'll just throw away. My, which mouse am I using over here? This one over here. Okay, there you go. 7-10 laugh off. I'll take the win for the week. A decisive victory. Good job. Thank you. And we've got your brain teaser question up next on B105. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren. Okay, we've got your uh, brain teaser question today. Your chance to win some Papa Murphy's. Yep, okay. So, the average American drinks about 40 gallons of this each year. What is it? There's only so many things this could be. You know what I mean? So. Well, how many pints in a gallon? I can never remember that. Eight. All right. So, and I think that. So, eight times. I'm doing some math here. Eight times 40. 320. So it's about a little less than a pint a day. What's a pint, though? 16 ounces. Okay. That'd be like um, uh, a glass of beer. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. So we're looking at... It's not good. Average American drinks about 40 gallons of this each year. 727-B105. You could win some Papa Murphy's right now. Help wash that down. Mm-hmm. Okay. 727-B105 with George. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren, here we go. Your brain teaser question. It's interesting. Look at our lives. It sure is. A little deep. Yeah, <laughs> it's not supposed to be that serious. It's right. a Friday. The sun's shining. Okay, the average American drinks about 40 gallons of this each year. What is it? They take some guesses. Hey, B105, what do you think? Good morning. Is it milk? Uh, Not milk. Darn, thank you. Yeah, that's probably, that'd be, that'd be a good thing, right? right? Mm-hmm. Good for your <laughs> bones, I guess. Yeah, vitamin D yeah. added, right? Okay. Or calcium, whatever. Yeah, I'm not, that's what I meant. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> Hi, Bureau 5. What's your guess? Hi, is it coffee? Not coffee. I wish, though. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure you probably do 80 I gallons. Do. I wish, but no. Yeah. Okay. All right, thanks Thank for calling. You. Yep. That's a goal. A new goal of mine. <laughs> Hi, Bureau 5. What's your guess? Is it milk? Not milk. Thanks for calling. Hi, uh, you got a guess? Oh, yeah, is it pop? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's soda pop. Depending you know. on where you live, yeah. Right, yeah, that's a lot. I probably do more than that. That is a lot. Well, whatever. Who we're not judging? What's your name? <laughs> uh, Jacob. Hey, Jake, congratulations. Uh, You've got yourself some Papa Murphy's Pizza Prize Pack. Perfect. Thank you. I got a a problem with uh, fountain drinks. You do like a A big big gulp, yeah. A a big buddy Mm -hmm. from Quick Trip. Sometimes I even go for the mega buddy. Wow. But it's like usually diet Mountain Dew, which I know is not good for you. Nothing's good for you. Everything's going to kill you. Blah, 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 blah. But that's like that's my mm-hmm. I, that's my iced coffee. That's yeah. what gets me going. And I just bring an iced coffee every morning, and then depending on the day, I'll go get another. But yeah, not so you always. probably do. So that that cup you have there, let me see how big that is. That's at least twenty ounces. No, it's like sixteen ounces. Okay, so that's a point. and there's a lot of ice in there, so sadly okay. that takes. Well, I'm sure you do more than forty gallons. Of yeah, coffee. but I and even though we talk a lot about iced coffee, I I drink like one 
iced coffee in the morning, maybe two at the most. So I, w- I want to drink more, but I also got to sleep at night, you know? So it's just about balance. <laughs> Bouncing around the room. 728, <laughs> B105, weather forecast coming up, and then Breakfast Club confessions here at 740. Mine has to do with the... Um the storms that rolled through last night. Nice. Um, mine happened this morning, so it's perfect. Perfect. Fresh. Coming up. Okay, you go ahead. I'll make them short and sweet. So last night after the storm. Yeah, those are crazy storms. Yeah. Aaron and I went to Walmart because we had to get more paint. There's oh. never-ending paint. Or as you call it, uh, hair product. Yeah, no, I still have <laughs> I still have paint in my hair. I was self-conscious because it looked like I didn't wash my hair, but I did. But, like, the paint was just stuck on there. But that's, you yeah. know, neither here nor there. So, anyways, had to do that last night. And you know, it's very expensive to have a fixer-upper. Very thankful, though, and all that. But um, I was like, it's my turn to pay. So, like, I'll, I got it. And we had, had some other things as well. And I get to the checkout, and I'm like, where's my debit card? <laughs> okay, just so I couldn't find my debit card, which that actually never happens to me. I always put it right back. So then I, you know, I still paid whatever. And then I was like, where's my debit card? Well, the reason, <laughs> this is the one other confession wrapped in. I had something I had to buy on Thursday right at 2 o'clock when it went on sale. So I put my debit card in my pocket so that if I was here in the studio and it was two o'clock, I'd be ready. You know, okay. it was a popcorn bucket <laughs> of um, this clown from a movie that's coming out this <laughs> month. And then I just well, after, had to have it. Yeah. So then after I put it back or after I got it, I put the debit card back in my pocket and then I just forgot about because I was like, and even Aaron was like, where, like, where did you have your debit card? Whatever. And I, and then I had to tell him, well, I'm sorry, I bought a a clown head popcorn bucket that went right on sale at 2 o'clock. <laughs> so there's that. And then this morning, I had a lot of things to bring into my car because I'm going out of town after work. And I had something I was going to return in the back um, of my car, and it fell out, and I accidentally stepped on it with my muddy shoes. So can't return it anymore. So just lost some money right there. Well, you know, at least you got that popcorn bucket. I did. It's not coming until like April of 2025, but I got it. You know, you ever wonder who buys this stuff and then there's a, a lot of somewhere. people yeah. do. Tony from Mix. Um, yeah. he, Good for you guys. Yeah. So, I mean, it's fine. I know my people and who I, you know, I found my other group of weirdos that I can say, look, I'm not weird. Others are doing it too. So for me, I think animal ran off with one of my crocs last week okay we don't have confirmation of that but that'd be amazing it has to be because i i I was at the camper and i got out of the camper and i was gonna pack up the boat Mm -hmm. and we had gravel driveway and i only have one shoe and i looked everywhere for it i could not find it i even hobbled over the neighbors that have dogs and i was like do you guys did you see my shoe anywhere because i i'm going into voyagers national park with one croc not the best way to start it's not and you didn't bring back up no, and I had a premonition, too, that was going to happen. I was like, I don't need to bring an extra pair of shoes, do I? I mean, what what would happen if I lost? Right. Well, and yes. that's sad because you that's love not gonna your happen. Crocs. Well, like, you they're good for Crocs. on the boat. They're yeah. good for on the boat. Well, anyway, um, still haven't found it, so I'm wearing my really old ones. Uh, but that's Treat okay. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. It was just your birthday, you know? Right. And then uh, the other thing I'll mention is um, with last night's round of tornado warnings that we had and tornado watches, this was not the year to bring your 10-year-old to see Twisters. No. But she wanted to see it. She, she wanted. She said easily. she was. She, well, she used to always be scared of the weather. And I'm like, are you sure this is a good idea? And she was yeah, I'm not scared anymore. I'm, I'm growing up now. Well. <laughs> she is. It was like. Where's the tornado now? I'm like, well, it's, you know, and we've always said we barely ever get tornadoes right. here. You know, like when's the last time you've seen the tornado in Duluth? Actually, mm-hmm. not long ago. But um, there was a water spout off Park Point a few years back. But anyway, um, it was a little bit of a bumpy night. We didn't get much. We got some lightning right when, of course, we we're trying to go to the bed. But right. you guys had it over there closer to yeah. you. Yeah, it, it got like crazy. I got scared for a minute. Heard the sirens going off. And mm-hmm. then, but it was still like light outside. Shut all the windows and doors, whatever, went in the basement, and then it, it lasted, like, just a few minutes, and then I went back upstairs. So. What was it? Is it Lake Alora or Alora Lake or whatever? It's uh, near Cotton. That's only, like, eight miles from our cabin. It was really close. Mm-hmm. My dad had a couple rounds go through up there yesterday. So. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. I uh, hope you're doing better than us today. Lawrence Country Lowdown on B105. All right, what's happening? Well, we basically have a story about Jelly Roll every single day because he's just out there doing his thing yeah Yeah, so 
He and Kim Brown may have just signed on to headline Nashville's Big Bash for New Year's Eve. This is something that happens every single year. So this was announced yesterday. So they're going to be headlining. We'll learn more artists um, as we get a little bit closer. But it's always from downtown Nashville, and it's super long. It's like five hours long. And they have performances, you know, in New York and Nashville and all, all over the place. Now, last year, it actually saw ratings skyrocket 75%. Wow. And so, yeah, it was super successful. So, El King also hosted last year. We don't know who's hosting this year or anything, but that's a good start. Jelly Roll and Kane Brown. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. So, Jelly Roll's everywhere. Yeah, so speaking of that, another story about Jelly Roll. He could have been some angel for this, but I didn't want to wait that long because I love this story. So... He's on his tour, his beautifully broken tour. He was just in Louisiana. And during one of his songs, he noticed that in the crowd, there was a couple that said just married. So he's like, well, when did you get married? And they're like, we actually got married today. And then we came to this concert. Um, And he's like talking to them. Um, Obviously, everyone's like freaking out. And he's like, where are you guys going on your honeymoon? They're like, we haven't thought about that. We literally just got married today, like eloped. And now we're here. And he's like, well, I'm going to give you $10,000 and you can go anywhere you want. Wow. So before I get married, I got to go to a Jelly Roll concert. (laughs) Have a sign that says getting married. Do you have a honeymoon planned? No. Do you have the wedding planned? No. (laughs) Somewhat. It's coming together, isn't it? Well, you got a date in the venue, so what else do you need? That's what I have. And some bridesmaids. And you got a DJ, right? Yeah. And I'm the DJ's assistant. Okay. Um... (laughs) So anyways, see that video, B105Country.com, and then Blake Shelton. Um, I just realized him and I have something in common because tomorrow he is going to be, and maybe you can help fill in the blanks here, Ken. He's going to be on college game day. Okay. And so... What do you have in common with him? He says, I don't know anything about football or these teams that I'm going to be asked about, but everyone says that I should just do it anyways, so... Yeah, I don't know much about college football. I don't follow it really. A lot of people so are really into it. So maybe you have something in common with Blake too. Mm, probably have a few things in common, I would imagine. But I liked his honesty, and if you want to check him out tomorrow, um, you can read about where and when and all that. Be one hundred five country dot com. Game day, all right. Well, Blake Shelton everywhere. Back on TV. It's been a while, mm-hmm. right? He's loving his. Well, he's not retired, but you know. Oh, he stepped away, and he's yeah. doing what he wants to do. Yeah, Good for him, he deserves a break. Seven fifty. Be one hundred five. Luke Combs, Ain't No Love in Oklahoma on B105. It is Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. Today, uh, weather going to be 75 or so, sunshine, breezy. Tonight, clear, down to 56. And then tomorrow, we get some chances, showers, and storms. Otherwise, it'll be sunny most of the time at mm-hmm. 76. Um, so that's what's going on with that. Coming up, we're going to talk about what's in theaters. Did you see there's a new scary movie out? No. This is your chance to win cash. Here's this hour's win cash code. 511. 511. Mm-hmm. That's the number you can always for. That's for traffic, isn't it? Five isn't one that four one one? I don't know. What's I don't the, know. What's the call before you dig number? Let's just stay with five one one. B one hundred five. It's a breakfast school with Ken and Lauren. Here's a very scary situation that happened. Uh, you know those utility trucks with the buckets that go up. You know, and they were like uh, you know power companies have them, cable companies have them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. With the lift bucket. This happened. Uh, a truck was stolen with uh, a Spectrum utility worker still in the bucket. Happened in North Carolina. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Somebody crashed a Spectrum bucket truck. And this happened uh, after someone stole it. The utility worker was still up in the bucket repairing a line when this truck was stolen. And thankfully, he had his safety harness on. At some point, he even was tossed outside of the bucket and was suspended in the air by a safety strap attached to the bucket. The worker was unable to cut the safety line and fell to the ground, injured his leg, but he's going to be okay. And uh, the suspect, identified as Frank Moody, say that again, was taken into custody. That's uh, charged with a felony assault with a deadly weapon, larceny, felony injury, wires, and fixtures of utility companies. I didn't know that was something That's there as well. That's in- very intense and scary, and he probably has a big settlement coming his way. Here's the crazy thing is, is that the guy that uh, stole the truck, he just got out of jail two hours before that. That makes sense. That really Crazy. does make sense. Guess that's not what you probably thought you need your safety harness for, but I'm no. glad he had that on. Yeah. He's seriously. like 18 feet in the... In, oh, my. Wait, no, like 80. He's way up in the air. Crazy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, give us a good story coming up, maybe. I have a great story coming up. We need the balance of uh, good and stupid. Yep. <laughs> you bring the good, I'll bring the stupid.
B105, Northland's number one for new country. We're going to pass it over to uh, Joe Danger. He's in next. Listen while you work with Commercial Free Country continuing. Have a great weekend, Lauren. Have an amazing weekend. You can do some painting. Um, I'm going to do some half marathoning tomorrow. And well, that's then... right. Good luck in Ely. Yep. And then, um, yes, painting. So I got paint. Are you driving up in the morning? No, I'm I'm going today after work. Oh, you got a place to stay? Yeah, all my um, running friends and I were going. Oh wow! The cabin and we got it all. I packed as if I'm going to be gone for like a month. So okay, I should be back. Hopefully, I'm. You know, good can, luck with your can run. Do it and you'll be great. Do I have a place to stay? I'm not just going <laughs> to go up there and wing it. Yeah, I well, like to plan ahead. I, I know. Well, good luck with that. Um, I hope you do well. Thank you. And uh, we'll we'll get a recap next week. I'm just trying to you know finish, and I'll be happy.